What is up guys, guys, Jizik in here, today we're playing some Duelist, uh, this is a game many people probably haven't heard of, and my chair is creaking like a madman. This is basically a, uh, a card game, strategy card game, but it's got a bit of a twist, so, um, instead of sitting there and running through deck lists and stuff, I'm gonna jump straight into a game, because it'll be easier. Um, maybe I should, I'll jump straight into a game first, this, so, it, you know, to keep things flowing a bit quicker. And then once you've experienced one game and I can talk through what's going on, uh, I can show you um, my collection and deck lists and stuff like that. So basically there are six factions I believe. Um, my favourite is Magmar because you play as a beastly demon dude. Um, and uh, each faction has its own sort of style. For example, uh, Magmar, they have a keyword called grow. So if your minion lives a turn, they gain stats. Um, Vanar has infiltrate, so if they're on my side of the board, they will get buffs. Um, right, so this is the layout. This is your your action bar, your hand basically. So I have this five mana spell here, which destroys all minions with three or less attack. I don't want that, so I'm going to replace it by clicking over here. It gives me a new card. Uh, that basically means I can now um, move. I move on the board. Every character can have uh, move two spaces and then attack in any area around them. There's nothing for me to hit, and then you can also summon. Um, one space from any friendly unit. So if this, if I already had a minion here, I could summon in a one square radius. You'll, you'll pick out quite easily. It's a bit confusing to begin with. I appreciate that because I struggled to start with as well. So now I have a choice. Uh, on you start with two mana, you get mana every turn, and you start with 25 health. And if your general dies, you lose the game. General has to attack. So I have to decide now: Do I want to use Primus Fist, which gives all nearby minions plus one attack, or do I want to use my Healing Mystic, which heals me for two health? Um, so basically, which one do I not mind losing? I'm going to go with the Healing Mystic, because Prima's Fist can give me some um, very strong <coughs> trades. If he plays a 2-3, I can trade and not lose basically my 2-3. And he probably will play a Snow Cloaker. It's quite common for Vanar, or maybe even a Fenrir Warrior, whatever it's called. Fenrir, is that the name of it? Fenrir Warmaster. 3-3 three, three for 3. Pretty OP, pretty OP. Uh, I can now secure this. I could flash. Flash reincarnate is kind of like innovate on Hearthstone, but your minion takes two damage. Um, rebirth is another keyword that um, Magmar get, which basically means if your <coughs> creature dies, you it will spawn an egg, and then if they don't kill the egg, it will come back as its full creature next turn. So I can have access to uh, this mana. This, this is a mana tile. And basically, if you step on this, you gain a mana crystal. So if I step on this, I now have four mana. And if I put a minion down there, I'll also get an extra mana. Um, so I don't think... I don't know if I need the mana crystal or not. I guess playing veteran Silithar would be very strong. So I'm going to take this mana crystal. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to deny him this mana crystal, even though I can't use it myself. I'm going to deny the mana crystal, and I'm also going to, rep I should have replaced first, because it's kind of like drawing last, but I'm going to replace this. Ah, see, now that probably would have changed my play, because I could have secured all of them and played an extra two drop, but it's not a big deal. <coughs> this is a, a grow minion, so you can see, if this minion lives a turn, it becomes a 5-6. 5-6 five, six. Five, six for 4 mana isn't that great, but the idea is that it just keeps going and going and going. I think the standard is 4-6. Like, that's the vanilla minion, is 4-6 for 4 mana. So, yeah. I don't know, do you collect that as you walk through, or do you have to land on the space? This is, I don't know about this. Okay, no, you have to actually land on the space. Uh, I don't really know all the cards yet, either. Like, I've only been playing for a little while. So, for example, when he targeted me there, I wasn't quite sure what to do. Oh, you also, you draw two cards every turn, so... It's always, you'll never see people in this game... Uh, playing very high-end minions because there's no point to it, basically. So I can now play Emerald Rejuvenator here, and then it costs two less. Oh, okay, never mind. I thought I was going to be able to. Um, 
Flash reincarnate one of the four drops, but I can't do that. Uh, so Veron's Silithar is probably the weakest card. Let me just reshuffle that. Oh, Mackintore War Beast is really good. Uh, we'll have access to that next turn. No, we won't because we don't have. We took the Mana Crystal. I'm so bad at this game. <clears throat> so you can see there's a certain level of strategy with positioning and what, you know how to where you should be at what time. I didn't. We haven't really thought about this too much in this game because I've been trying to explain and sound smart. I'm not very good at that though. So. Uh, so that's my Emerald Rejuvenator down. You find out queer very quickly that healing in this game is very strong. So if he just hits me now, this is pretty good. Um, oh, I can't. I could flash to reincarnate this, I guess. But I don't really want to break the Jaxi. So instead, we will... We want to get as much value as Primus Fist as possible, but we can't even. Pl we can flash reincarnate one. Probably the veteran Silithar, what we should reincarnate. Because we want this to grow, right? I mean, it still has the opportunity to grow, but. Using my health as a resource here. I could flash reincarnate the Primus Fist. That's probably better. If I play the Grimrock. And then flash out Primus Fist. It's likely a better play. And then I should send this in. I think. So it locks him into place because he probably want to attack this. He could send in a Jaxi, but Jaxi is one of the most strong cards in the game. And if you. Uh, I'd actually run it in this deck. But <laughs> this is like the best card, but I don't use it. Yeah. So you should use this. If you're. Um, when you hover over minions, well, you can see, I can see it, the red area is the all the spaces this creature has access to attack. So it could move two here and hit here, for example. It can move two down here. Oh, no, it can't move two down here. It can move here and then attack here. So it basically highlights all the areas that you are liable to get hit from from each character when you hover over them. Um, so I, I am, I can't say I'm free to play because I recently um, spent money on some packs because... Oh, I'm going to get silenced. Now, we hope the Jaxi spawns in one of these top corners. 50% chance of success. And we got the worst case scenario. So we need to trade these guys in because they'll just die to Jaxi for free. Might as well take the damage on the general. Or if we can trade in damage down here, that'd be pretty sweet. Oh, he's, see, he's positioned it properly. Um, now, I could actually play Macintyre War Beast and clear the Jaxi. I don't know if that's worth it or not, though. Primus Fist is just dead weight at this point because it's just going to die to the, the one damage. This is too much mana. Let's see if we can get a... Ooh, mana burn. That's quite nice. Hmm, not really. Maybe I should play uh, a 4 and a 2. I want this Primus, this Primus Fist is primed to take out the Fenrir, but it's not going to happen. Uh, I can't walk there, so I'm going to step up here. Move Primus here. Summon my Veteran. And my second Primus. And just get him cash in to be damaged so that the Jaxi can't just get a freebie. I don't really like Dire Tide Friends as a card, but I saw, like, I've been reading guides and stuff. Uh, so frenzy is a keyword. This is not unique to magma. A lot of creatures have it. Um, basically, every if you hit someone and rush is like charge. If you so if I hit here, all the creatures around me also take damage. So it's really nice. So especially when you have a creature that's rush frenzy, it's like an AOE clear. Pretty nice. And plus, you can just attack the the minion with the lowest attack value. And get a freebie. 
Oh, dancing blades, that's fun. I'm glad that's the thing that just happened. Is it just minions? To each minion next to a mana tie. So I cannot actually... I want a McIntyre and do that, but I cannot. Um, so I can... I can hit here, go down to 7. Mm, doesn't do anything. I think we need to... Dump this. Looks like we need to play the puss out game. I can't run that way. Hmm. It's a hard game. I mean, we're, we're threatening lethal on the board right now, but there, she has such good board control. I mean, we have four damage from the hand, which would be pretty nice. In fact, if I draw, there's a one mana card that gives, like, plus two, plus two. And I need that card, really. That would help a lot. Mini Jax is a bit of a problem, but can't do anything about it. Hopefully I can draw some healing or something. I'm going to have my healing mystic right now. This is this card's pretty bad actually. I should probably take this out of the deck. I just like the idea of it. It looks sick. There's a big guy with big fists and he grows, so it's like wow, I want that in my life. At all times. This is good. Now if he thingies here, I can McIntyre both of these guys down. McIntyre, sorry. McIntyre. My McIntyre zombies, yes. Play more minions, please. Good idea. I like it. Yes! Excellent stuff. This is like the best play. More minions! That's actually too many minions. Oh, no, it's not. It's not too many minions. Oh, okay, that's too many minions. Oh, am I, am I dead? Is he just like fucking... Almost dead. Not quite. Uh, so I've got three, three, six, I have lethal. Right? Yeah, yeah. This is why you don't go face unless you have lethal, because you lose. <laughs> and there you go. So that was the game of Duelist, you got to see the general sort of side to things. I haven't leveled up all my um, re uh, factions yet, I just like playing Magma. So anyway, let me give you a rundown of how the game works quick before we go around to another game, right? So, there's one, two, three, four, five, six different classes. Each have their own sort of flavor and style. The only one that's bad is Abyssian because all the cards suck D. You can make different decks and each deck has its own thing. Um, I'll tell you if you want to start playing this game, good cards to start with. Uh, you want to make sure, like in your starter decks, Ephemeral Shrouds are good, uh, Primus Fist is good, Jaxi is good, um, Crossbones is hard, okay, uh, Saber Spine, Tiber, and Repulsed Beast. You want to have three of Saber Spine Tigers in all your decks until you get good cards. Uh, Emerald Rejuvenate is really good. Hailstone Golem is a good 4 drop when you're starting out. Um, Brightmost Golem is okay. Dancing Blade is really nice. Keeper of the Veil is the, one of the best cards in the game. I only have one of those. Uh, the, the differences between this and Hearthstone, you can have three of any card in your deck. So if I had three of these legendary cards, I could put all three in the deck. So, um, yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, what else is a good card? Yeah, they're basically the, 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 the sort of standard. So if I was going to make a deck, right, I'm making a new Lionar deck. I want to make it, like, half decent. I don't have any, like, points in anything. So I'll just use commons, like the best commons. Sunstone Brace is good. Uh, Azure Art Lion's very good. True Strike's really good. This Sundrop Elixir is pretty good. Um, Windblade of Death is OP. This Silver Knight's OP, but you have to unlock it by doing stuff. Ironcliff Guardian's really good, but, uh, you know, that's an, a thing you want to use that. Sun Bloom, AoE Dispel, really nice. Uh, we don't need Ephemeral Shrouds because we've got Dispel from our 
the Sunbloom shit, Jaxies, Healing Mystics, Primus Fists. Uh, Saber Spine Tigers, a couple of Repulsor Beasts, and I'm already at the cap, but you know, Golems, Rejuvenators. I don't know why I bothered doing this exercise, because I just fill it with crap, because I saw cards. Um, so yeah, and then you, it's easy to get hold of cards as well, like... You get daily quests, you get two quests a day, and you can and you complete them for gold. 100 gold equals one spirit orb, i.e. a pack. And every time you level up a faction, to I think it's level 11 is the max to get all the cards. So once you hit level 11, you've got all the cards. Um, and then after that, you get remote emotes look. So here you can see my factions aren't even that high level. And if you get a faction to level 11, you also get... Uh, a free pack as well. So you've got six free packs just from leveling up. Leveling up is fun, it's easy, you get cool cards. I know you haven't even played a game of Songhai. Um, so let's play another game. Uh, let's play with my Vanar squad because Vanar, I think Vanar is one of the strongest actually right now. Vanar and Songhai are the best two classes at the moment, but they don't pick those just because of that because you need. Um, you need to have like sick legendary cards uh, for that to be true. So you can see, uh, I should replace this Ephemeral Shroud, it's probably not going to be that great. So you can already see, you'll see the same f like cards popping up in every deck because when you're starting out like I am, um, to build the good decks without all the epics and legendaries you need, these are like the staples of doing half decent. Okay, so we can. I have access to four mana. We should probably. Snow cloak is good. Crystal cloak is good. So we should probably dump that. Okay, that wasn't quite what I wanted. So I can drop crystal cloak here. And then Primus Fist here. He can technically claim that crystal up there, so I could block him from it, but I don't need it. So I'd rather get the tactical positioning with my units. Uh, this is the infiltrate mechanic in in action because I'm on her side of the board. Yeah, how do you know which side is her side? Because the way they're facing, the middle is no one's side, and then just the squares after that are their side of the board. You can emote, you've got some funny faces, you can be like, what? Why are you taking so long? This is a joke. Then you have hello, good luck, have fun, well played. You have faction specific ones. For all the emote emotes that are here, you get faction specific ones. So you, if you're a main of one faction, you can show off that by having all the emotes. Other emotes, I think, are, this is a beta as well, so I don't think there are emotes for everything. Crimson Oculus is a fairly average card. I ran it uh, before. I've, I have run it in the past, I should say, because I thought it was like OPOP, -OP, but... Um, and it probably is pretty strong when you're starting out, but it doesn't really hold up too well. In the now time. So I should replace Aspect of the Fox before I go any further. Opening gamut, random spell, I cast this game. I have not cast any spells. This is a re this is one of the best cards in the game as well. Twilight Sorcerer, you'll see it running a lot of decks. This is also one of the best cards in the game. Arkham Spellbinder. I got this by luck. By I I I, I won't lie. I got forty packs because I really enjoyed this game. So I decided to get some packs. And the amount of legendaries you open is a lot. You do you open a lot of legendaries. And the thing is, there are bad ones, so you can just disenchant them and get the good cards. Like this Frosthorn Rhino is probably not that that great. But because I haven't, I don't even have like the basic Vanar cards. There are some really strong cards in this class I just don't have because I haven't, um, just haven't played enough to get them. So I have five, three, plus four, five, eight, twelve. I mean, this might be worth it just for the buff, honestly. Or I should, maybe I should just start clearing 1-1s. One I almost made a misplay then. I should use my general for those shenaniganries. Ooh. 
make it so she can't escape me, basically. Uh, I don't think I need this Twilight Sorcerer because I haven't played any spells because I don't have any good spells. Something like Cryogenesis is really strong, but I don't have any Vespa minions because I haven't really played with Anna that much. Uh, you can see I've kind of got a box in here. She can still move backwards because you can move through your own units. You just can't move through the enemy, so she can't go diagonal here. But she can move back to... She can... Um, she can't move diagonal, but she can move that out of the way. Especially she's limited to these three squares here where she can go. That is a very strong minion in Abyssian. Shadow Watcher. If it doesn't have a crystal underneath it, you can see that... Oh, wow, that was an unfortunate placement of the shadow of the mini jacks. Had a 33% chance of it going bad. So now this guy gets buffed every time something goes wrong. But I have Aspect of the Fox, which will just turn it into a, into a nothing. So he might decide to trade in as many 1-1s as he has now, just to try and get the uh, Shadow Watcher buffed up. This is likely a either an AoE spell or... Yeah, there you go. So I'll just pack. So he's got loads of damage now. Uh, wait, what? <laughs> what? You got rid of a 3-1 this turn to summon Gloom Chaser. Why would you do such a thing? Whose idea was that? What made you think that was a good idea? The other thing is she hasn't moved yet and I've got lethal on her with my Rhino, so she needs to move forward. She did not, I do. Celerity means you can attack twice. It's not unique to any class, but I think... Um, but actually no, I was going to say I think Lionar have it more frequent than others, but... Uh, perhaps I should play more with... Which class am I closest to levelling up with so you can see what levelling up looks like? I'll play one more game, maybe. Don't make it too long. Lionar, I'm pretty close. We'll play one more. We'll play a Lionar game. Lionar is quite fun. I don't like playing classes that are really strong, and Lionar is one of those. So, but at the same time, like I wanted to be, I wanted to enjoy Abyssian, but Abyssian is just so bad that I can't even enjoy it. Even though I like playing the underdogs, which is why I play Magmar because even though it's not like popular, it's still okay. Um. I'm not sure why I'm wanting Saber Spine Tigers in this. I'm sure I must have better cards than that. I don't think I'm, I might not have put in Silver Guard Guardians in this deck. I might not have updated it recently. So I don't want this. I want another two drop, preferably. Sweet. This is a strong start. If you can play two two drops on turn one as going second that's like this is like one of the strongest openers ever could be any two minions could be you know healing mystics and that would still be super good doesn't need to be primus fist just because you get the buff and i now have access to all of the um mana crystals next turn if i want them although i probably don't want them if you can hold off on getting them so you can use them it's like the coin if you can hold on to the coin in hearthstone to a turn where you actually want it you can uh make a better use of it, but sometimes you just want to deny the opponent the crystals sometimes too. He's got three mana, he's probably casting Wraithling Swarm. Oh no, Nightborough Assassin. I don't like that card, it's like an aggro card, but it's not very... Really... Yeah, this is an aggro deck, clearly. Although... Pretty naff, if you ask me. So we don't want this tiger, we want something better than that. So we got a healing mystic, so we can do something like this. And we can heal up Primus Fist again. Sunstone Bracer. So artifacts. Artifacts are like weapons in Hearthstone, except they have three durability, all of them, and durability only goes down when you take damage. So if you attack, if I attack her and she retaliates, I take damage. But if I have a ranged minion with an art, well, if I'm a ranged general with an artifact, which can happen, I when I attack, I don't take damage back. So, you know, that can be a thing. She's now got three mana, maybe Wraithling Swarm, Void Pulse. I don't like that spell, it's pretty... Pretty weak source, I think. Uh, I can play my Dancing Blades. Oh, I can't play True Strike and Dancing Blades. So I should probably just True Strike this before it gets too much value. Um. Is 
This is good. I don't know whether I should play that or not. I don't think so. I think that's a worse trade. I don't know. I just equip the braces for the sake of it. I don't really know like the best strats in this game. Some games are you're like thinking overdrive and you can just be like, oh, I should place here and if I go here and you know you find lethals you think that are quite obscure, but. Like in the case of do I just do I move the two three in, do I just not attack with it? Like I don't really know what the best plan is because if I if I didn't attack, I just give him a freebie. I don't know. But what? Because the thing is, if you attack before you move, you can't then move. So I like to do this to lock the general in place, and I can sort of swarm around them. That's generally what I try to do. Because if you push them into one corner, you just stack minions all around them, and then they can't go anywhere. This arc light regalia. Apparently, this is one of the uh, a pretty good card. It's not one of the best cards. I won't say that anymore because I keep saying that. I think it's a good card, but I don't know how true that is. So I'm gonna gain. So I have some some hailstone golems. This deck is clearly out of date because I don't these hailstone golems shouldn't be here. This is a very old deck I made, obviously. I would have had my emerald rejuvies in or something like that. But we can still win with bad cards. I don't even know what rank I am. I'm silver something. It's not too much to really shout about though, to be honest. Yeah, this is the one the card I need because it's super good. But I can just clear this. So I hate that card. Wow, it's all three of them now. That's a three free durability gone on my weapons. Oh wait, no, it didn't. It didn't go down. Weird. I thought it would. Oh, okay, I do have emerald rejuvenators. I don't understand. I think because I put classes down and don't touch them for ages, I clearly I think Vitruvian and Magma are the ones I've been playing the most, Magma specifically. So I forget that my decks are bad for the others, other classes, and I should probably look at them beforehand. But like when you first start playing, you struggle to fill the deck with 40 cards. You're like, oh my god, I need to just chuck something in because I've run out of ideas. And then when you, when you then you get like loads of good cards, you're like I don't know which one to put in. You start to struggle to to pick the optimal card for the job, especially when you've got like eight two drops that are really good. You have, like Jaxi Mystic Primus Fist, you know for the line you have that the Zeal guy Wind Blade Adept or some shit. And so which one do I use? And I used to think Jaxi was the weakest link. Um, out of those, like, set. Oh man. I can just trade in my hero and rejuvenate up. That's pretty nice. Hopefully, this is a weak minion. Uh, okay, so we can move here, hit this, tingling that, dispel this. Hit this. Summon this. And we can keep the golem because it's still quite good, honestly. Let's see what he goes for now. Hmm, hmm, hmm. The one <coughs> thing I don't always like about this game is, um,. Is the pixel art? It's not that the pixel art isn't like nice, because like some of it's really really good, and I like the idea of pixel art. Like I like the style, but some uh, some minions look so like clustered, like cluttered up, 
that it's kind of hard to see what the fuck's going on. Like, if I see an example, I'll show you what I mean, but it's like, some, some of the art just looks messy, but... I mean, a lot of it's quite nice. Oh, so that's probably dead now, yeah? Okay. Gotcha. Um... Oh, I have a Primus Shieldmaster. That is not a good card. I'm gonna ping the AA for damage. Should I hit hit Well, yeah, because she's taunted, so I might as well do four damage. Provoke is the same as Taunt. Hmm, I think the reason I was running, I think I remember why I ran this, because I wasn't sure whether it was good or not. So I decided to find out. And uh, <laughs> for all those curious, it's, it's not good. There aren't very many good Provoke minions outside of Lionar. Lionar have some good Provoke minions. But that's because they have zeal effects, so. So basically I've locked this into hitting this, which means I can then Repulsor Beast it away. Repulsor Beast means I can move any minion to any spot on the battle, or any enemy minion on any spot. So I can put it here, push him over here, it makes him useless. He might run for my Jaxi, but basically over time I'll ping it down and it won't become a problem. And because of the way I positioned myself, he can only summon... Well, he can summon around the golem, actually. I didn't think about that. I'm stupid. If I can take him forever, maybe I should be, like... Waiting. Uh, in fact, I can move my Windblade Adept up to finish this guy off. One more ping from Jaxi and my Windblade Adept. Pretty nice. Well, I should, maybe I should use a Rejuvenator because the Windblade Adept has an extra attack. Oh no, I'm going to have to use the Windblade because he's probably going to hit into that. Oh, never mind. That's a shame. Fingers crossed. Oh, and he's going to save us by time. Okay, I think I'll lose this game. Yeah, I kind of messed up that movement there as well. I shouldn't have moved the way I did. It's pretty bad. Uh, I do have my Dancing Blaze now, so I can ping and Dancing Blaze this Storm Golem. Because he probably moved two here, hit me. I don't even have to ping it. I can just straight out Dancing Blaze. So that means I am at 7, 3. So he's one damage off lethal. I'm pretty stuffed. Pretty stuffed, man. This is a way to accelerate the thinking process for the enemy is so boring just watching nothing he's probably sitting there trying to figure out the best lethal so if I was here if I moved here he could have, yeah the golem was always gonna beat me this is it boys GG oh do one damage when things die, that's great. Oh, great. Don't put one here, please. Oh, great. Please. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. I should not have done that. That was a mistake. the game I just lost the game never mind whoops mistake I had I could have hung on there but I, I should have pinged with Jaxi and moved. I couldn't move because this shit was there but yeah I should have pinged with Jaxi and moved down anyway I leveled up so now you can see look oh I get a card because I'm good at this game martyrdom that's a really good card I should put that in my deck because it's like kill everything for free okay then that was duelist um if you feel like leaving the comment Please do let me know if you want me to play any more of this because I quite like it. So let me know. I need to put this to go under my deck as well. But anyway, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.